it's really fantastic to see the completed work that our partners SDB, SDPI have done and the important survey evidence that they've gathered speaking with businesses across the country. And it's great that they particularly spoke to so many small and medium sized exporters, businesses as well in a diverse range of sectors and geographies, as well as a number of women led exporting firms too. Before going into specifics of the report, which will be presented just shortly, um, I wanted to make just a couple of framing comments on the role of exports for Pakistan's um, development uh, trajectory. Exports accounted for 16% of the economy in 1999, but only about 10% in 2020. So there's a significant challenge ahead if Pakistan is to achieve upper middle income status by 2047, which was what was envisaged by the World Bank's um, Finance Act, uh, which was UK Finance World Bank's report, Pakistan at 100. So trade openness will be critical, including a simple transparent structure with reduced tariffs and clear rules governing the use of discretionary provisions. There were positive moves last year to lower tariffs on a range of manufacturing inputs and the subsequent uh, towards the year end increase in exports was a really positive outcome from that. But there are opportunities to go further with intermediary goods too. And experience from Indonesia and India uh, both show clear benefits of uh, such a policy. Greater economic integration regionally also clearly presents opportunities for growth and development. And it's been estimated that liberalizing regional trade in merchandise alone could result in a threefold increase in trade for Pakistan, for example. As has already been said in the opening video there, the last year has been incredibly challenging and as the UK and Pakistan, we work really hard to be responsive to Pakistan's needs and it's been fantastic that SDPI has been a partner in amongst that work. But we've responded, um, as you'd expect, with humanitarian support to some of the most vulnerable communities in the country. We partnered also with health technical expertise on scenario modelling, on labs and testing and on vaccination rollout, which is something we're working on at the moment. Also looking at the VEX question of genomics and genomic capability. Um, we've also done all we can to support school students affected by school closures and to keep learning going for those who are at most risk of dropping out. And we've contributed um, to budgeting finance and public investment planning to help the government's best manage through the pandemic in both um, Chicago Pakhtunkhwa and also um, Punjab. But turning back to today's report, our Revenue Mobilisation Investment and Trade Programme, um, nicely titled Remit, has backed this work to understand how Pakistan's importers have, exporters, sorry, have been hit by the pandemic, how they were coping, the degree to which the various support packages provided were actually helping and how the deeper structures may be changing. So we are incredibly grateful to SDPI for stepping in to understand the situation and identifying potential opportunities for helping a stronger export to recovery. And it's really to their credit and the credit of the Ministry of Commerce um, that they've taken forward this study alongside all of the other issues that the pandemic has thrown at them. We hope that the evidence in the report will aid policymakers in the Ministry of Commerce and beyond, perhaps including some of the participants in today's dissemination, um, to improve support to exporters and identify what more can be done to help smaller firms cope with increasing trade costs and how to arm them with the information they need to continue exporting to the rest of the world. So I'll stop there and look forward to the presentation and um, let's have a productive discussion for the rest of the meeting today, really engage with the findings. And it will be great if we can come up with some policy conclusions that we can take forward to make a difference to this fantastic country. Thank you. Thank you.